Hi everyone, this is Two to My School Workbench. The first two important things we should have checked is MySQL is installed or not. And it should be installed and running because MySQL Workbench is just an editor. It, will, it won't help you until unless your server is not set up. So let's begin within these 15 minutes of time. I'll guide you to Workbench establishing and how to create schemas using schemas with the forward we have few reverse engineering and forward engineering tools in mysql workbench so let's remove this one okay i'll just click here and say delete connection say yes let's have a new connection new connection name let's say localhost mm -hmm. root storing the password You might not have root password so you could have kept blank meanwhile my develop environment has some password and i just said okay to me it asks some default schema i'll say no not now connection to myself this much connection parameters are correct very good go so just you say double click over this connection and your mysql will start running from here you need to choose your default schema or you can create your own schema right here meanwhile the main question or our objective is how to create a schema diagram of a mysql workbench so i will not go over here i'll just go back and remove model from the list remove this one as well remove this remove this and remove all well let's create a new er model Entity relationship model. Whoa. So for sure good. We are over here. We say add a new diagram and it will add a new diagram for us. I just double clicked it. <clears throat> okay, let's take an assumption that our say our table has for registration module. Okay, we'll call some registration module then over here you have a new table or quick press is t so if you just say save t a new table should appear okay right here so this is the schema my dv you could have renamed this schema to something of your own and you could have called something of your own and i'll just create a new table you just double click this table and you'll get all the information down below within the table it shouldn't be called table one but it should be called tbl underscore user underscore info okay so far so good well you know Dave I do not want to keep any comments over here how many columns do I need okay see it's very very smart it says ID you need to have one so I'll say info underscore ID it is a type primary key not null it unique is just under primary key and not null means unique so let's have the auto increment as well let's go to another one and let's call it username the data type is varchar will be self sufficient and i do not want anything else by default no i have a password so for sure good i just click tab and it's right over there password shouldn't be kept blank yes it's not null and not null as well email address okay let's have it is 240 characters and then we have a status like thing a status and status says integer type very good and it's uh, not null and by default the status is high actually this column is used for whether the user is active or not okay so far so good let's have some other column I'm done with this if you go to indexes I do not have a primary I have just a primary index to this particular column I don't have any foreign key referencing meanwhile later on we might have some triggers nothing portioning nothing options nope 
inserts okay let's have some default data as well since auto increment you don't have to take care of info id username okay let's call it dhirajthiraj and the password is mm, okay tst test passwd password if you match match it's p is capital email but within the database your databases are not specific okay so it's case insensitive just email well dhrhthiraj at sustafaryu.com dot np fine he is an active user that symbolize one and if you enter some data within the insert tab and if you insert it you should apply changes to the data otherwise no records will be done very good so this is it our records has been inserted very so if you want to go to the new row or you want to delete a complete selected row you have all the options right over here edit the current row so you can just go back and say and finally you you can even export this data meanwhile i don't have anything to do this is one of my schema i just dragged it and put it over here i have some other table mm -hmm, mm -hmm. the schema is same i don't have to worry uh okay here is a table double click it and i'll call it okay since say a user has entered some data then they'll have to log in so in order to keep the track of which user has been logged in i'll create a new table and i'll call it table underscore login login underscore meta informations meta information means some additional informations given to the database well with this column if i go over here i'll just change it to meta underscore id very good just auto increment it then i'll go to which user has been entered okay and in order to do that i have info underscore id with me it's integer as well integer as well it's a uh, okay mm -hmm. it's not null and then I have some okay fine login date okay let's choose something from here we have date and time type right over sitting over here it's uh, not null mm -hmm, mm -hmm. then after log out time log out date time okay so okay let's you'll have to save it as a w5 let's call it just mm, data okay so far so good then after what else I don't think okay fine the status means if a user has been logged in and they haven't been logged out then this status will keep on remaining high by default it's zero means if a user hasn't been logged in okay so you'll have to update this column to one in order to log in and in, uh, put it's zero when it's logged out. So sure, far, so sure, good. Mm -hmm. Now let's assume some relation to this table. If you see, it has one to many relationship. In order to have one to many relationship, 
you'll need a relationship table so right over here you see place a new one to many identifying relationship okay so I just say fine and I'll click to this so if you just double click over here you'll be taken to the link so now if you go back to the foreign keys right over here you could have chosen the column so the column is reference table oh I'm sorry actually this wouldn't be over here let's delete it or let's remove this one delete no I want to delete it and 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 this one should be over here actually and now in the foreign keys the reference table is table user info the info id should match the info id of the reference table okay so there is the one to many relationship actually this relationship should be of this relationship should be of mm -hmm, if you just double click over here foreign key it's an identifying relationship okay it's one to many and identifying <laughs> fine now it's the dark thing okay that is all that we have to do I just saved it fine let's clear everything every miss over here now if you see if I just double click this one and this one if I over go this way of doing is known as <coughs> Close loop. Okay. This way of ER model is a crow foot model. So keep on meaning the term was crow foot model. We have similarly few more models, but meanwhile we have been using crow foot. Okay. Now I'll show you the schema diagram over here. So let's uh, confine this as a database diagram is ready. Okay. Meanwhile, I'll stop this video and I'll continue to further progress this schema diagram, how to export it and how to put it into the database. Okay. Thank you. Thank you for this right now.